Welcome to the Health Science Academy of Wagner High School. In the Health Science Academy, you can be sure that you will get a real-world education with real-world results. The Biomedical Science Pathway through Project Lead the Way is the Health Science Academy's top-tier preparatory program for the medical field. This is Krista Ford, one of our amazing biomed teachers, to tell us about the pathway. It's hands-on, it's real life, so you're learning about potential careers that you may go into um, in college, careers that may interest you, they may not interest you, so you can check those boxes. Yes, I'm interested, no, I'm not. Um, and it's learning book things, but applying it to real-world situations. Wow, there, there's so many projects that um, I love. I think the kids love the mannequins the most because we build with clay. So we build muscles on the face, we build nerves down the arm, and so you're learning all this um, anatomy and terminology, but still using your hands and building and being creative. Um, two of our major business partners are Humana and Trilogy. They offer opportunities for our students to leave the school building. Um, we do go on field trips. They provide things like career development, resume writing, interviewing skills, professional, how to be professional in a workplace, as well as um, going to nursing homes, um, understanding the different roles of the employees in the nursing homes, and offering um, long-term care jobs and internships to our seniors. So for the Health Science Pathway, we have the HOSA Club. Um, it's a leadership club. It is based on um, community service, um, we have guest speakers from people from different careers that come and speak to you so you can learn more. They um, can compete um, every year. They have competitions for like nursing assistance for making beds or CPR, um, doing chest compressions and, and breathing for somebody. They have um, competitions for medical terminology which most students get here as a freshman. Um, so the HOSA club is what we really um, ask you to participate in. Um, so all students are welcome in my program, however, I do encourage students who want to go into the medical career, if you know that you want to be um, in higher education, if you know that you love hands-on learning, um, if you love project-based learning, if you're good working with, in groups, if you want to learn how to collaborate and, and be a team player, um, those are the kind of students that I want in my program. That if you, this program is four steps. It usually starts as a freshman to senior, but however, if you did not take this program as a freshman, that's okay, we can get you caught up. You can start as a sophomore, and then the counselors know how to catch you up and make sure you get all four classes through your four years here. The pre-nursing pathway in the Health Science Academy is a path to becoming a certified nursing assistant as soon as a student graduates from the pathway. Let's hear from Christy McGrath and Melinda Hurst two of our spectacular pre-nursing teachers. So in m and we get to be very hands-on. They get to work with the mannequins. They get to learn skills and then practice them before they go out into um, the long-term care facility where they will actually interact with real residents and um, perform those skills. In m and I feel like the entire class is a project. Um, we learn a skill. We learn why we do the skill. Um, understanding the reasoning or the rationale of why we do what we do and then we put it into practice by going out and actually doing those skills on the mannequins and practicing until they got it right. Um, in m and you have the opportunity to work with Trilogy and do an externship working with residents um, as a nursing assistant. In addition to there are also opportunities with Norton Healthcare to work in the lab as well as work as a nursing assistant. We go to Trilogy. Uh, we have to have 16 hours that we go in and it is hands-on with real live residents that they are working, doing bed baths, brushing teeth, taking care of the residents, just like you would once you pass your state certification. With taking the m and course and passing the test, you pretty much are guaranteed a job straight out of school. There is such a shortage of nursing assistants. I still currently work as a nurse. Um, so there is a huge shortage that you can go get a job tomorrow once you get your certification. 
like it is that easy and they have pretty good pay i mean there's some competitors out there that are competing to get the students in there working so you might go to one place and go to another and you might get three or four more dollars an hour so it's very um, competitive with pay and you are pretty much guaranteed a job when you leave i think anyone can do it but you have to be caring uh, you have to know you're going to get your hands dirty. I mean, it's basically taking care of the needs of someone else just like you do every day when you get up in the morning and you take a shower and you go to the bathroom and you brush your teeth. You're helping other people to do that. So you have to be a caring type of person, but it's for anyone. It doesn't matter, you know, what if you're male, female, how old you are, it doesn't matter. It, anybody can do it. It's going to benefit everyone. And with m &A certification, you will always have a job. There's always going to be sick people, always going to be people that need to be taken care of, um, as well as if you were to have to take care of a friend or family member, you have the skills and the knowledge to do so. Allied Health is our sports medicine pathway. In this pathway, you'll get to learn and practice the basics of being in the sports medicine field. Let me introduce you to our awesome allied health teacher, Josh Martico. Kids really enjoy being hands-on. I think a lot of the kids in my class definitely relate to that um, as my class is a really hands-on approach to teaching. So where we may do a little bit of book work to kind of learn the basics, a lot of what they do is actually hands-on using the actual equipment that we talk about because our athletic training sports medicine complex is equipped with that type of equipment. So they have that option and that is really the best part about my class. There, there is an Allied Health Sports Medicine uh, competition at the end of the year every year that schools that have this program will take their kids to. Um, that kind of competition includes stuff like ankle taping, and evaluation skills, all of that which they learn in my class. So that is an option for them uh, at the end of the year. If, if I have a student who's doing really well, we may enter that competition and hopefully represent Wagner well. So we are starting this year, actually. We are gonna have opportunities for students to co-op with Court Physical Therapy and Norton Healthcare. Um, being my Within my realm, that is an area that I have connections with that will, students will have that option and will be able to utilize that. It teaches kids, especially in allied health, they're going to learn skills that not necessarily every kid is going to have an opportunity at. Um, critical thinking skills due to being in the medicine world, things change at a snap of the fingers. So being able to adapt and kind of readjust your train of thought on the, on the fly is one of the big benefits that our students get out of our allied health pathway. It is something that most kids, you know, they don't really have much change in other, they know exactly what to expect, whereas in allied health and medicine that you never know what to expect. So you have to be ready to flip the script pretty much and change direction whenever you need to. If I need a kid who's going to be resilient, I need a kid that's not afraid to fail because that's how you succeed. I also need a kid that's driven and who really is wanting to learn because in this profession and in this subject of allied health and sports medicine, it's not something that they have been really introduced to to this point. So it's all gonna be new information. So I want someone that's gonna be resilient, hardworking, and not afraid to fail. The EKG Pathway offers Health Science Academy students the opportunity to become a certified EKG technician. Here is Lindsay Reed, our fantastic EKG teacher, to tell us all about it. Um, EKG is like an electrocardiogram. So that's where you get the little boogery sticky leads put all over you, and it looks at the electrical activity of the heart. And it is amazing. Right. Um, I think the things that people like the most about my class or the classes in my pathway is they tend to be more hands-on. Um, body structures, you know, we learn about the anatomy of the body. Um, the diseases and disorders, and then we typically will do some kind of um, project, build something, um, you know, that will actually function like the system would. So body structures is very hands-on. So as emergency procedures, um, you get to um, 
you know, once you learn the skills of CPR and first aid, you get to practice those on the mannequins. Um, they give you feedback um, as you are working with the mannequins of if you're being successful with what skill you're performing. Um, EKG is absolutely hands-on um, because in order to sit for the exam, you have to do 10 um, EKGs on a real live human being. Oh wow. Um, one of the projects that I look forward to most is probably some of our 3D projects. So probably my favorite is the 3D digestive system. And so I just have people bring in random things like from their home, like garbage pretty much, like milk jugs, toilet paper rolls, um, tissue paper, um, buttons, I mean, just random things that they can find that would normally go like in recycling or and we make a digestive system starting with the mouth. Um, they have to have like a tongue and teeth all the way down the esophagus into the stomach, um, intestines um, all the way out to the very end. So they have to come up with something that, you know, visually looks kind of like that part. So it's, it's a lot of fun because you see a lot of creativity. That experience that you've gained from interacting with your peers, um, our business partners, um, the field trips that we're able to take um, to the actual, you know, ER or to visit with the residents at the long-term care facilities or practice the skills that you learn in M&A. The comfort level and the confidence that you will have going into whatever you choose to do and being able to interact with people of all walks of life is invaluable. I think the Health Science Academy student would fall first and foremost into the category of being someone that has empathy and compassion. If you do not have it in you to um, be that person that can just sit with someone and put yourself in the position um, of them, whatever they're going through, whether it's happiness, sadness, loss, um, you, you definitely maybe not be in the right place because you have to have a want and a desire to help people, um, to get them through their best and their worst. Um, you have to be committed. Mary Pippin, one of our great Academy English teachers, wants to tell you about some stuff too. Ms. Tackett and Ms. Dury have been so great to work with um, because they have really big jobs and I know they have a lot going on, but anytime I am confused about anything, or if I reach out, they are always so quick to support me. Um, and I know, I know they do the same thing with their students. The kind of student that I want in the Health Science Academy is a student that is just willing to open the, some, themselves up to new opportunities, um, a student that's willing to um, learn about a bunch of different perspectives and take it all in and make their own conclusions. So a free thinker, a hard worker, and someone who's willing to just go all in. And now, Marianne Tackett, our Academy Counselor, is here to talk to you about our Academy Dual Credit Opportunities. College Now at Wagner is a name that Wagner has put on a program that we have set in place. Um, we've started it this year. Um, most notably, our sophomores are the ones that are taking their first um, dual credit course through WKU. It's a history course. But it is a program that we have put to help students progress through um, common general education requirements that colleges have in place, um, history, English, math. And what we want to do is set students up for success by letting them take some their sophomore year, their junior year, and their senior year. So that hopefully when they leave Wagner and they graduate, they have 24 to 30 hours of college credit under their belt. I'm looking for that student that has an open mindset and that is willing to learn new things. Here is Academy Principal Adam Achen to tell you a bit about our Academy. Okay, health science facilities that we have, we have a wonderful m and lab that kind of um, doubles as EKG lab. We have some EKG tech equipment there that you can use and work with. We have wonderful beds and dummies and things that people can go in to get that skills check off to work on their clinicals. The newest space that we have with health science is Mr. Martico's space. And Mr. Martico's space has went like a total overhaul for our allied health and sports medicine. And I'll tell you what, it's a great big space. It's uh, wonderful, has all kinds of equipment, all kinds of things that you would need to be a trainer or an athlete to kind of get the therapy you need to get back out on the 
uh, your competitive field. And I'll just say as myself, as a former college athlete, uh, I've been to a lot of different training facilities. And I'll tell you what, ours in a high school situation rivals a lot of small colleges and other colleges uh, training facilities. It's really top notch. Well, I think the type of student that will be successful with us is, the, is a student that wants to serve others. When you look at the medical pathway, um, it's about service to others, really no matter which field you, you choose. Um, personally, I've had a lot of medical people in my family, my mother, cousins, aunts, I'm sure many of you have had the same. Um, and I kind of look at it as service to others. It, well, I'll, I'll just use a quote for you. Uh, Muhammad Ali said, service to others is the rent that we pay while we're here on earth. And when we help others while we grow ourselves, uh, that, that's just a good way to improve the community we live in, improve the school that we're a part of, and improve the society, again, that we function with. As you may have noticed, there is a place for every kind of student in the Health Science Academy, no matter what your strengths are. There is a home for you here with us in the Health Science Academy, your pathway to a hands-on, real-world educational experience.